thirteenth deed of the acts of thomas from the apocryphal acts of paul peter john andrew and thomas by bernard pick this librivox recording is in the public domain the acts of thomas thirteenth deed how vazan and the others were baptized chapter one hundred fifty and the young man vazan asked the apostle and said i pray thee man apostle of god allow me to go out and i shall persuade the jailer to let thee go to my house that from thee i may receive the seal and become thy servant and one that keeps the commandment of god whom thou preachest for previously i walked already in accordance with thy preaching till my father forced me and bound me to a woman named Mnesar. being twenty-one years of age i have been married to her seven years before she became my wife i knew no other woman on this account my father considered me also as unprofitable and neither son nor daughter was ever born to me by this wife but my wife also lived all this time in chastity with me and to-day i know that if she were well and heard thy words that i should have rest and she would receive eternal life but danger and many sufferings try her i will therefore persuade the keeper provided thou wilt come with me for i live all alone at the same time thou healest the unfortunate upon hearing this judas the apostle of the most high said to vazan if thou believest thou shalt see the wonders of god and how he saves his servants chapter one hundred fifty one and as they were thus conversing tertia and mygdonia and marcia stood in the door of the prison and having given three hundred and sixty-three silver pieces to the jailer they went in to judas and they found vazan and sifor and his wife and his daughter and all prisoners sitting and listening to the word and as they came to him he said to them who allowed you to come to us and who opened the sealed door to go out says tertia to him hast thou not opened the door and bidden us to go to the prison where we should find our brethren and see the lord's glory and as we came near the door thou wast separated from us i know not how and being hidden from us thou camest here first where we heard the noise of the door as thou didst shut us out we gave money to the keepers and thus we got in and now we are here and beseech thee to let us help thee to go away from here till the anger of the king against thee ceases and thomas said to her tell us first how you were locked up chapter one hundred fifty two and she says to him thou wert with us and didst not leave us even for an hour and thou canst ask how we were locked up but if thou wilt hear listen king mistai sent for me and said the magician has not yet become master over thee because as i hear he enchants the people by oil water and bread but he has not yet enchanted thee now obey me otherwise i shall lock thee up and strike thee and destroy him for i know that so long as he has not yet given thee oil water and bread he has not been able to have power over thee and i said to him thou hast power over my body do unto it as thou pleasest but my soul i will not destroy with thee upon hearing this he locked me up in a room and Ceres also brought mygdonia and locked her up with me and thou hast brought us forth and brought us hither to this assembly 
now give us the seal that the hopes of mistai who intends this be destroyed chapter one hundred fifty three upon hearing this the apostle said glory to thee polymorphous jesus praise to thee who appearest like our poor humanity praise to thee who givest to us courage and strength and joy and comfort and help in all dangers and strength in our weakness when he had said this the jailer came in and said put your lamps away lest we be reported to the king having extinguished the lamps they turned to sleep and the apostle spoke with the lord now it is for thee jesus to hasten or behold the children of darkness put us into their darkness illuminate us by the light of thy nature and suddenly the whole prison was as light as the day and while all those that were in the prison were asleep they who believed on the lord were awake chapter one hundred fifty four and judas said to vazan go before and prepare everything necessary says vazan and who shall open the prison gates for the keepers have closed them and are asleep and judas said believe on jesus and thou shalt find the gates opened when he left them to go forth the others followed him and as vazan went ahead he met his wife minyesar who went to the prison and as she recognized him she said to him my brother vazan is it thou he says yea and thou art minyesar she says yea and vazan said to her whither art thou going and at this time and how didst thou get up and she said this young man put his hand upon me raised me up and in my sleep i saw that i should go where the stranger was to recover fully says vazan to her what young man is with thee she says seest thou not him which leadeth me by the right hand chapter one hundred fifty five and as they were thus conversing judas came with sifor and his wife and his daughter and tertia and mygdonia and marcia into the house of vazan and when minyesar vazan's wife saw it she fell upon her knees and said hast thou come to save us from the heavy disease thou art he whom i saw in the night as he gave me this young man to bring me to the prison but thy goodness would not suffer it to trouble thyself but thou hast come to me thyself and when she said this and turned around she no more saw the young man and not finding him she said to the apostle i cannot go alone the young man is not here which thou hast given to me and judas said jesus shall lead thee and she went before them and when they had come into the house of vazan the son of king mistai much light shone to them which was spread around them although it was yet night chapter one hundred fifty six and judas began to pray and to say companion and associate hope of the weak and trust of the poor refuge and shelter of the weary voice which went forth from on high comforter which dwells among us shelter and haven of those which travel through dark countries physician that heals without money who hast been crucified by men for many who didst descend into hades with great might whose look the princes of death could not bear and didst ascend with much glory 
and didst gather all who take refuge with thee and didst prepare the way and in thy steps all went whom thou hast redeemed and didst lead them to thy fold and unite with them thy sheep son of mercy son sent to us out of philanthropy from the upper the perfect fatherland lord of undefiled possessions who ministerest unto thy servants that they live who hast filled the creation with thy riches poor one which was in need and hungered forty days who satisfies thirsty souls with thy goods be thou with vazan mistai's son and tertia and Nesar, and gather them into thy fold and unite them with thy number be their guide in the land of error their physician in the land of sickness their rest in the land of the weary sanctify them in the impure country be the physician of their bodies and souls make them for thy holy temples and let thy holy spirit dwell in them chapter 157 having thus prayed for them the apostle said to mygdonia undress thy sisters she undressed them and put aprons about them and brought them and vazan had gone first and they followed and judas took oil in a silver cup and spoke thus fruit more beautiful than the other fruits with which no other can be united thou most compassionate thou which burnest by the power of the word power of the wooden cross with which men by putting it on by anointing themselves with it overcome their enemies which crowns the victors token and joy of the weary which has brought to men the good news of their salvation which showest light to those that are in darkness which art bitter as to the leaves but sweet as to the fruit which art rough as to the appearance but tender as to the use which seems weak but carries the all-seeing power by the extraordinariness of thy power jesus let thy victorious power come and rest upon this oil as it once rested upon the wooden cross related to it and thy crucifiers could not bear the word let also come the gift by which thou didst blow at thy enemies and thereby didst bring about that they went back and fell downward and may it dwell in this oil over which we call thy holy name and after the apostle had said this he poured it first upon the head of vazan then upon the women saying in thy name jesus christ let it be to these souls for forgiveness of sins and for keeping away of the enemy and for the salvation of their souls and he bade mygdonia to anoint the women himself anointing vazan and having anointed them he made them go down into the water in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost chapter 158 and when they came out of the water he took bread and cup blessed and said we eat thy holy body crucified for us and we drink thy blood shed for us for redemption may thy body be redemption for us and thy blood for the forgiveness of sins for the gall which thou didst drink for our sakes may the gall of the devil around us be taken away and for the vinegar which thou didst drink for us may our weakness be strengthened for the spittle which thou didst receive for our sakes may we receive the dew of thy goodness and for the reed with which they struck thee for our sakes 
may we receive the perfect house and that thou didst receive a crown of thorns for our sakes may we that loved thee crown ourselves with an imperishable crown and for the linen in which thou wast wrapped let us be clothed with thy invincible power for the new tomb and burial let our souls receive renewal of the soul and of the body that thou didst rise again and revive let us rise again and live and stand before thee in righteous judgment and he brake the bread of the eucharist gave thanks and gave it to vazan tertia minyesar and to the wife and daughter of sifor and said may this eucharist be to your salvation and joy and to the healing of your souls and they said amen and a voice was heard saying amen be not afraid only believe end of the thirteenth deed of the acts of thomas